trying to be good. Because we have Final Fantasy 16 event to play. The Neophyte Adventurer seeks the Warrior of Light. Okay, I like this quest already because I'm already being acknowledged as the main character. I like it. F forgive my boldness, but you are okay, Mage, are you not? Saskat got recognized! She's famous! apparently my apologies wait hang on a minute wait i actually said no i didn't think about it i didn't think about what i was doing my apologies even if you are the spitting image i suppose it was naive of me to presume that you are indeed the living legend herself i like this guy i like this person i shall have to keep searching oh Oh no, I did get the bad ending. Oh no, it is me, sorry. Yes, no, it is me. It, it, it is me, me, I am me. Yes, no, me, yes. Yes, me, yes. Then my search is at an end. A big goggled. <laughs> big goggled. Gentlemen, tasked me to find you. You see, in hopes of entreating your aid with some matter he deigned not to share with me. Pray remain here and I shall fetch him at once. Oh my God, is that a horn? What's that? So who are they fetching? Greetings, champion. Why does this lion pack a punch? Who is this? There's so much like, I don't know, charisma already and it's They've said two words. Who are you? Tis I who employed the young adventurer to facilitate this impromptu audience. Who are you? You're like Batman and Harley Quinn mixed together. As for the why, I have a request that you, and you alone, can fulfill. Pray listen well, for my tale begins with a most unsettling dream. Oh? Wait, I like this. What's this? Like, bracelet. It's really cool. In it, did I behold the evening sky, boundless and shimmering, as I drank deep of its beauty. I spied two stars sailing across the inky expan expanse. One of the purest white, the other blushing scarlet. Their course is set such that they might pass without collision. Sharply and suddenly, the scarlet star shifted its trajectory. High above a burning landscape did its path intersect with that of the white star. Their conjunction marked by a brilliant explosion of light. Even in slumber, I was awestruck by the spectacle. <laughs> a lovely tale, but I fail to see what that has to do with me. Ooh! All right, Sasscat, jeez. But what? Okay, so I have two choices. Really sassy or boo. Boo, what does it mean? Boo, what does it mean? Truth be told, mine own interpretation wavers. My rational mind says meaningless dream, while my artist's soul insists on prophecy. Ooh! Whatever greater meaning this vision might hold, I am convinced that the blazing white star represents the warrior of light. In other words, you. Me! So who would the crimson be? And should these portents indeed foretell future events, you are thus fated to encounter the Scarlet Star, whomsoever they may be. I therefore humbly request 
that you accompany me to the burning land. Oh my gosh, the burning land? Is that the moon on the 13th? Cause it's like a flaming Cheeto from my dream that I might witness the visions denouement. I will compensate you for the trouble, of course. Okay. The question is, which territory in Eorzea might be considered burning, metaphorically or otherwise? Uh, uh, I mean, there are fire pits in every zone. There are torches in every zone. Uh, I think we pick Gridania. Oh, oh my gosh, I've got options. The Bowl of Embers, where I battled Lefrit, the burning wall in Eastern Thanalan, a place rich in corrupted crystal deposits. They can look quite fiery. I think the Bowl of Embers, where I battled Lefrit, because that actually was burning land. But I feel like that's not going to be the right answer. While its relation to flame cannot be denied, mine instincts tell me nay. Oh no. The scene from my dream was more ridged than bold. A giant flickering outcrop of crystal mayhap. Of course. Ah, <gasps> uh, okay. I wonder which option this could be. It's unclear. The beater of these. Hmm. I think I'm going to choose the crystal deposits. These crystals would have to be immense in size, akin to those which comprise the burning wall. Wait, hang on a minute. It actually wasn't. Wait, that actually wasn't the right option. Wait, was that actually not the right option? <laughs> Wait, I thought that was the right option. <laughs> he said crystals! Aye, that sight well resembles the sweeping scene from my dream. Why did you say crystals then? First mystery is solved. We shall leave for Eastern Thanalan and the infamous burning wall at once. Well, I got it wrong already. Quest accepted. Wow, look at that art. Oh. Oh my, who, what is... It's a crawler! Oh no! What do you mean the burning wall is literally a massive crystal? It says burning wall. So clearly it's going to be a wall on fire. What else could it be? God, you guys are so stupid. It's a burning wall. Hello, wandering minstrel. The burning wall. An apt name indeed. Who is this person? It is said that these crystalline structures were formed when... But falling shards of Dalamud pierce the land's ethereal current. Some of them, some see them as a symbol of rebirth, a manifestation of renewed life. But that is neither here nor there. Wait, he's got loads of rings on. He went like that, he's got loads of rings on. That is neither here nor there. Let's have a look around, shall we? Spyglass is at the ready. <gasps> we need to lick the floor! Yay! Survey your surroundings for anything out of the ordinary. You may move the camera as well. Oh no, oh no, I always shoot the wrong thing. Why is there sussy music? Where's the shoe bill? The shoe bill, it's the shoe bill. That's the sussy thing. I know there's, there's gonna be a shoe bill here somewhere. Where is the shoe bill? There has to be, there's going to be a shoe bill here somewhere, surely. They're going to have put one. There's a shoe bill here. I know it. Where, if I was a shoe bill, where would I? Wait, what is that? Strange man. Wait, what? Is that? Wait, who's that? I was looking for a shoe bill. Oh, well, that was an unusual discovery. Ooh, 
music. Ooh, I like this. So wait, who's this? Uh, who is that? Ugh. Who is that? Who is that? Oh, oh no. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, what's going on? Oh. <laughs> this is Handsome Stranger. Oh my God, wait, what number are we on now? Handsome Stranger 59, maybe? We were definitely, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 59. What? What's going on? Uh. Oh no, Saskat is Peepo talking again, but I don't know what she said. Well, if that isn't the coolest character I've ever seen. A dream led you to me? I understand how absurd that may sound. We ourselves were unsure of what awaited us here. As for who we are, I am content to be known as the Minstrel. This stalwart hero is okay, Mage. She's all right, I guess. Might we have the pleasure of your name? <gasps> oh no! Okay, I recognized him a little bit, but I wasn't sure. This is the main character of C Oh no, 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 I can't play 16. I can't play 16, look at him. He's the main, oh no, no. He's so cool. Oh my God, they put like eyeshadow around his eyes. He looks so broody and mysterious. Okay. Okay, I think it's over. Ugh. Oh no, he really is hot. I can't play 16. Clive. I. The last thing I remember was the ruins. Help! Wait, what's happening? Ugh. Wait, what's happening? My head. Where? How did I come to be in this place? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I had missed, I pressed a button. It was the wrong one. <laughs> Nothing, you guys are hearing things again. No, you lot keep telling me I keep hearing things. You lot are hearing things again. It's not me, you're hearing something. My head. Where? How did I come to be in this place? It would seem you are not senseless. Why is it? Okay. I know I keep asking questions, but I, I recognize this character, but why are they just called Wandering Minstrel, right? They should have a name. It would seem you are not senseless. Confusion is to be expected. For safety's sake, I suggest we make for town and have a frontisserie, tistery physician look you over. I shall see our patient receives proper treatment. Would you mind waiting for us at Scholar's Walk? By your leave. Wait, he's limping. Why is he limping? He's hurt. Oh no. See, look, the only thing that I ever knew about 16 was that people were absolutely, like Ben Starr is a star anyway, but whatever character Ben Starr voice acted, like people 
love that character. That's the only thing I knew about 16. That there was some character that everybody is like obsessed with, like loves for whatever um, wording we want to use. And uh, it's Clive. Yeah, it's Clive. And I've seen I, I've seen the Final Fantasy 16 trailer and I was like, okay, that's Clive. That's the character. But now that I've seen him in game, I'm like, oh. Oh no. Oh no. He really is hot. Ben's performance in 16 was crazy good. Yeah, I mean, he is praised for being unbelievably talented. He's also such a freaking Giga Chad. Like, he gets fully involved with the community. He's so funny, he's so great. He embraces everything, he does so much. So he's like a great person, but it was his talent. So people so people love Ben Starr, people love Clive, but also people adore Ben Starr's work as well. Like, it's, it's a mixture of everything. Okay, I don't know. Clive is uh, Clive is very pretty. <laughs> very handsome, Mark Clive is. I say, oh, I haven't even played 16. He's so cool. Okay, look, he's like really cool. I think that's what it is. He's like, I thought that Cloud might have been one of the coolest main protagonists, but I feel like Clive is rivaling him right now. Our foundling is being cared for as we speak. Oh, that's such a cute word. That's such a cute name. Our foundling. Oh, foundling. I love that word. But I'm told he should be released soon. Hopefully it was naught that a bite of food and a little bed couldn't bed rest couldn't cure. Oh, his outfit is so cool as well. Wait, I think this is one of the rewards. I remember looking at the rewards. Damn, he's a cool looking character, isn't he? Holy moly. It was kind of you to wait. Thank you. Also, this guitar time, I'm assuming is Final Fantasy 16. I love it. Ooh. What of your condition? Much improved. Physica also noted no signs of injury or illness. He's so pretty. Yet my memories remain hazy. How did I end up here? Whatever I was doing, it was important. I'm sure of it. I must return as soon as possible. Is that hairstyle in the game? I see. Such a cool hairstyle. We cannot leave him in this state. We must help him restore his memories and find his way home. Got loads of rings on. Reminds me of Yoshi P. What of this city, Clive? Do any parts of order strike you as familiar? Oh my god, he's so cool! Oh no. No. Maybe I've simply forgotten, but I recognise nothing. Hmm. Not all darn then. Still, I should like to think that the sights and sounds of a well-known locale will hasten your recovery. The burning wall, the place we found you, is situated midway betwixt Uldar and Gridania. Perhaps a trip to the Twelves Wood is in order? Gridania, you say? The name rings no bells, but I have no better suggestions. And you would take me there? <laughs> so, <laughs> he's, not, he's not talking to me, is he? <laughs> no, 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 I can't, no. No! <laughs> Meanwhile, I shall make the rounds of the neighboring settlements. <laughs> and ask if they any have heard of you. Let us rendezvous in Gridania anon. Oh. <laughs> oh, why have we 
done this? Why have we done? No, I'm not playing 16. I don't think I'd survive it. I feel like I'm like, I haven't even played 16. I have no reason to like fangirl. But anybody who's played 16, like I just got a wash of like, I don't know if it's nostalgia or like fangirly nostalgery. I don't even know. I just got hit with a wave of something. And I haven't even played 16. How do you lot cope who have actually played it? This entire situation has knocked me off balance, I'm afraid. Okay, was it? I appreciate you coming to my rescue. Still, you must have your own business to attend to. We can set out whenever you're ready. He is so pretty. Oh no! G! Da, 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 da. Oh my god, Saskat! He looks so cool. Gee! I don't, it's very distracting with Clive standing here, but we could. Oh my, where did he just cut? He just dashed. Wait, are we both playing dancer? I didn't know I had a dash. Where's my dash? Oh, I do have a dash. Where the frick did I just go? Oh my God, I didn't even know I had a dash. I just freaking teleported somewhere. Wait, I can do cool things. Wait, I can do cool things. Look, I'm doing cool things. Wow, look at that. Okay, sorry, focus, focus on Clive. It's very difficult to focus on such a forgettable character, am I right? Clive is ready to travel to Grid. Oh, I can't, why is he looking at me like that? Look at him, look at him. Is this a new character model? Is this like a new face, new hair, new everything? Cause I can't. New hair and face, damn. This, uh, it's, um, nice. It's all right, I guess. Are we ready? Then let's head out. This Gridania the minstrel mentioned, is it far? Will we need mounts? Um, we can lick a crystal. By airship. You have those? Not that I mean to doubt you, friend. <gasps> We're friends! We're friends! I'm his friend. We're friends. If you say we're boarding an airship, then that's what we'll do. Oh, he has a big sword as well. He's like, not like Cloud, but he has a really cool weapon. Big scary sword. Wait, where are we going now? Oh, hello, Clive. Oh no, he's folding his arms at me. Oh no, what are these poses? They know what they're doing. That's all I'm saying. Oh, God's sake. If I may ask a foolish question. Do these airships of yours actually fly? Yeah. Foolish question indeed then. Your expression tells me as much. There is no such thing as a stupid question. Is there no airship travel where you're from? First time traveling in an airship? Is there no airship travel where you're from? I want to know more about it. So it would seem. It's odd. I know that the weapon on my back is called a sword. I understand what it's for and how to wield it. Foggy as my memories may be, my general knowledge seems intact. Yet hearing you speak of functional airships, I felt confusion, disbelief, for something that you clearly think of as commonplace. I can make no sense of it. Where was I before now? Ah, oh, but dwelling on this is pointless. Forward is the only way. Oh, 
We're going on a ship and it's going in the air. It's an airship. He's so pretty. Look at him. Clive is now accompanying you. <gasps> Keep him at your side. <laughs> He's never leaving. <laughs> You're never leaving my side. You can leave Clive behind. Who's going to do that? Nobody. What? Oh my God, the way he walks at you. The way he walks at you. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't like it. Oh my God, look at the way he walks at you. He's so cool. I have a new friend and he is my best friend. What do you mean? I'm not holding him hostage. He can leave anytime he wants. He can, he can leave anytime he wants. He's free to go. The thing is, he doesn't want to leave. He doesn't want to leave. He's happy running around. Look, I'm showing him the sights, okay? I'm showing him around. He's grateful, right? Are you grateful? Oh my word. Are you grateful to be shown the sights, Clive? Walk at me if yes. Oh no, he didn't walk. Uh, he meant yes. He didn't know. He's fine. He's fine. He can leave anytime he wants. Hello, Clive. This tavern. It reminds me of somewhere I've been before. No, it's no use. I can feel the memory, but it's like grasping at smoke. But maybe if you were to show me somewhere else. Ah! <laughs> happily, happily, I can do that. I can show you the world. <laughs> Shining, shimmering cities. <laughs> I've been singing that all day. I can do that. <laughs> This is adorable. So we do do. Here's mine. Back off. <laughs> He's mine. All oh, mine. <laughs> How many months in a row to get you to stop simping for Clive in a public place? <laughs> Chocobo. Now that's something I recognize. Yet, it's more than that. I had my own Chocobo once. I'm sure of it. Oh, he looks so pretty when he does a think. Usually doing a think is dangerous, but not when Clive does it. I had my own Chocobo once. I'm sure of it. I'm making the most out of this. But as for the when or the where... It's so cool! I know I am appreciating my time with an actual main character. That's all. Wait, did I just run you the long way around? Oh no, what a shame. This is so... There ain't, there ain't no way, right? There's no way no one else ran around with Clive, okay? Or took pictures. Ain't no way. I know you lot. Everybody did this. Literally everyone. Uh, wait. Where are we going? This way. Oh, this way. What do you mean I think you're the only one? What do you mean I didn't? That's because you lot don't appreciate a good character. An impressive crystal. Not a mother crystal, surely. <gasps> Wait, you have a mother crystal? Huh? No, not nearly large enough. Ugh, when I try to remember, the fog in my head almost seems to grow thicker. Wait, you have a Hydaelyn? You, you, you have a mother too? So do I. We have so much in common. I think 
think I have like really good. I think he's impressed. No, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. You're okay, right? Yes. See, he's fine. He didn't blink twice. He's just staring. Wait, where are we going down this way? <laughs> yes, I too was birthed by a mother. Mother. Well, look, we have lots in common. We both have mothers, okay? We're bonding. <laughs> <laughs> I need to stop staring and giggling at him. Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 stop. <laughs> this is a truly beautiful place. Aw, you could stay here forever. You could stay here forever. You have taken a liking to Gridania then. You could stay here. Ooh. Oh wow, this is a beautiful piece of piano, isn't it? Oh, I like this piece of music. This is beautiful. Oh, and the strings. Hello, Chris. How are you doing, by the way? I do like what I've seen of it. Seems a peaceful life here among the trees. Only, I just can't shake the strangest feeling. Oh. What is it? As if it's too peaceful and it doesn't sit right. Patrol reporting, Commander. All is quiet with the Ixel. No sightings of Garuda. For which we are profoundly grateful. At ease, soldier. Wait, who's talking and who are they talking to? Is this guard just yelling into the abyss? Did he say Garuda? <gasps> Wait, there's a Garuda in 16? Clive? Clive! You there. This Garuda you speak of. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Sir, are you alright? Do you know this gentleman? Yeah, he's my best friend. We go way back, like five minutes. Memory loss, you say? I'm sorry to hear that. Though it seems Garuda's name has lit a spark of some sort. I was in a battle with Garuda. I fought her, I'm sure of it. Please, you must tell me more. Anything that might help me remember my past. Of course. Bradania owes a debt of gratitude to any who have stood against that destructive fiend. However, there is one more suited to the task than I. Our elder Seedseer is well versed not only in primal law, but also in the treatment of bodily afflictions. She's surely your best hope for recovery. Can be Senna. I will send word ahead to Steel Glade Fane. Stand ready to escort our guests to an audience. Understood, Commander. Oh, sorry, I yelled that one. Pray find me at Nofaka's altar in Old Gridania. Wait, she has an altar? And I will see that you are granted entry to the Lotus Stand. Wait, is it a statue of Nofaka? And her assets? She has two assets. Oh, nice. Five. Oh my gosh, she's so brooding. But not in like a bad boy way, in a 
Why is there so much pain in his eyes? Am I reading too much into it? I feel like I'm reading way too much into it, but he looks like he's suffering, like there's pain behind those eyes. I don't know. The way back to what I've lost begins with Garuda. Of that, I feel certain. Like he looks sad, like lost, sad. Not brooding in like an edgy way, but like brooding in a, he's seen some shit way. The lotus stand lies just ahead. If you would follow me, please. Wait, I, I don't, so there's a place called Nofaka stand. Greet, greetings, honored guests. Oh, it's Canny Senna. We haven't seen her in a while. She even walks slow. Oh, she's so graceful. I love her. She's so like soothing. Oh, music. Commander who looks has apprised me of your friend's condition. This is he. Yes. A pleasure to meet you. I am Can E. Senna, Elder Seed Seer of Redania. I thank you for your gracious welcome. I'm Clive, though beyond that, I fear my introduction may be lacking. Please. Concern yourself not with proprieties. Tis your memory loss we are here to address. I am told Garuda's name awakened some previous recollection. Yes, <clears throat> in the instant I heard it, a hazy vision of battle rose unbidden. I think perhaps if I could hear more of Garuda... A wish easily granted. Once upon a time, the end. Garuda is the deity revered by the Ixal, a people who once dwelled here in the Twelves Wood. <gasps> I love this. Oh, like music, it's so good. She appears as a winged entity, half bird, half woman, who commands the wind itself. Most frightening, however, is her capricious temper, as unpredictable as a howling storm. <clears throat> I should add that Okay has fought against Garuda in her primal incarnation hello a winged woman of volatile temperament with power over the wind a fitting description of the opponent i remember you're hearing things again nothing happened but a deity no the will behind that monstrous visage was distinctly moral mortal Wait, look at him! I suspect Clive Scarruda and Eorzeus Primal are not the one and the same. <gasps> it's the Wandering Minstrel! Got so much jewelry. His rings really remind me of Oshi P. Mainly as Clive himself is mainly as Clive himself is not of our world. Oh? Explain yourself, minstrel. I went back to where we discovered Clive and questioned folk in all of all of the nearby settlements. Not one person recognized his description. Such a distinctive tattoo escaping the notice of every local rumor monger for the moms around improbable to say the least oh yeah um yeah that it's the tattoo uh yeah no that's the only reason why you would notice clive the yeah the the, the t -t tattoo yes no one would forget the tattoo 
That led me to one consider another possibility. One consistent with past accounts. I have heard of visitors from other worlds somehow stumbling through reality's curtain and finding their way to our star. God, he's so cool. Look at him. My brand. It's... It's the mark of a beaver. A beaver? Does it pain you to remember? He's in pain. Oh, I just dribbled. He's in pain. I feel the memories trying to surface. But when I strain to recall, a piercing ringing fills my ears. <laughs> I just like saw loads of messages out the corner of my eye and I just kept seeing buh, so I giggled a bit. It's not beaver? Bearer? Oh? Oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm not played 16. There could be a beaver faction. I don't know. There are many factions named after animals, I suppose. <laughs> it's... What, do, what is it? Let me scroll back up. Bearer. Bearer. Okay. He's a bearer, not a beaver. Oh, no. Oh, I feel... Anyway, moving on, moving on. I'm so embarrassed. I feel the memories trying to surface, but when I strain to recall, a piercing ringing fills my ears. Garuda. Bearer. Oh, it really is Bearer. Oh. Lefrit. Another primal's name. Wait, who's Bearer? A bear is not a primal that we know. I wonder if it, it might look like a beaver. Another primal's name. To it seem the pain has l a less than tangible source. Long have I studied the healing arts, yet I sense no shadow of illness in your body. Your suffering stems not from injury nor sickness. Wait, hang on a minute. He does look like he's suffering. There's a real sadness. There's a real like despair. Like, I don't know. He looks troubled, but you can see his suffering. So wait, hang on a minute. He really is suffering. Victims of terrible events have been known to suppress their own memories out of instinct. He is suffering. Not suffering from a cat running him around Gridania. It's suffering from something else. Not suffering from a cat. One subconscious denies. One subconscious denies attempts to confront the awful truth. The mind creating a shield of pain to protect the heart. <clears throat> The barrier is of my own making. How then am I to overcome it? Oh, he's so sad. With our aid, of course. Hey! You know, every time I see those rings, I think of the quote that one of the devs said. I think it was in the documentary where the devs were saying you would know when Yoshi P is near because you can hear the, the jangling of all his jewelry and his rings. So like every time I see the rings on the wandering minstrel's hand, I just think of that dev saying that you can hear Yoshi P. Like, you know when he's nearby because of the jangling. Fate has brought us together and together we shall triumph over this adversity. Uh, the no clip documentary. There's so much pain in his eyes. I think it's really clever that I mean, it, I might be reading too much into it, but he's giving very, like, he's giving suffering. That's all I'm saying. There's something, 
He's very troubled. And like, if I'm picking up on that, or from nothing, I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but. Something, he's haunted, like something's haunting him. So, you think me from another world? And my memories of said world are not like to return unless I acknowledge some terrible truth. A truth my mind refuses to remember. Okay, so there is a terrible truth. He is suffering. So, I, wait, I'm not making it up then. Tis a confounding dilemma, I agree. And I have given thought to a solution. I believe that the shackles which bind your mind may yet be struck off in the heat of battle. A drastic measure, perhaps, especially when not at your best. Which is why I turn to you. You are the twin to Clive's wandering star. Your involvement is no accident. <gasps> Am I a shard of Clive? The path I see. Yes, because I'm the main character. The path I see is thick with horns. But if you've the will to walk it, then gird yourself for war and await me at a a pack a pal la ap kalu falls no clive's twin is not no that's a good thing that's the best thing i've ever been called clive's twin clive is so cool oh my goodness you are gigantic sorry uh this character is massive look how tall this character is you are really tall anyway i got clive oh <gasps> wait that is actually such a cute picture look at where we're standing wait i feel like that's a really cute shot no but it needs to be like central no i'm just appreciating my time i have i'm not simping I'm just taking, I'm, I'm taking memories, okay? Do you ever know, do you ever go to an event or go somewhere and take a photo for memories? It's for memories. Right, next time I take a picture of my food, I'm gonna be like, am I simping my food? No. Clive seems somewhat bemused. Ooh, I get a question mark. The minstrel has a plan, it seems, but he shares little beyond confusing metaphor. Still. I'm willing to indulge him if it means making progress. We are to meet him at Ap Kalu Falls, right? And where is that to be found? Oops. Good, not far then. Let's get on with it. Sorry, he was mid-speaking. That was rude. When the moon hit Clive's eyes, it's like a big pizza pie. That's amore. <laughs> oh, I need to run this way. <laughs> oh. All right, well, let's run this way. Why do you need to remember your food, though? Because it was good and it looked pretty and I appreciate it. Wait, what have I... You've set me up. No, wait. You've actually set me up with that one. No, 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 no. You set me up with that. I'm not saying that's Clive. No, I'm not saying that's Clive. <laughs> I've been set up. I've been... No. <gasps> wait, this place is beautiful. Wait, isn't this... Isn't this Yushtola's Yish sister? Is this Yushtola's... Isn't this Yushtola's sister? Yeah, people who take pictures of their food. Yeah, rat sire, right? I'm going to go one extra. I post pictures of my food. And when Facebook first came out, I did a status where I spoke about myself in third person. And I wrote legitimately, is eating an apple. And if I go back far enough on my Facebook, that actually is real. It was like one of my first Facebook statuses. Jordan is eating an apple. Yeah, it gets worse. Trust me, I can make it worse. Wait, there's so many people here. I wonder why they're here. This place.
place. Why here? Because this waterfall is where the legendary Archon Louis Soir gathered a band of adventurers in the time of the seventh umbral calamity, also known as the Suck. <laughs> How have I never noticed that before? <laughs> Their purpose? To extinguish the infernal Ifrit. Ifrit? Oh, he's got a fire burning in his eyes. Ugh. I know something is there. I just... Why can't I remember? Wait, don't hurt yourself. He looks like how I feel whenever I think. Oh, the music! Oh! Oh! Oh my. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I've got goosebumps. Wow. Music is so good. You know what? Listening to this music is making me want to play 16. Like really bad. There are so many different things that are one like encouraging me to play 16. But I feel like this music is really sucking me in the most. It's amazing. But I need a PS5 to play it. That's my only issue. We need I need a PS5. I don't have a PS5. I couldn't really justify buying one just to play one game, you know. I, when, it just, when does it come to PC, for God's sake? Sub goal. Oh, yeah, but I was... Oh, I, I know, yeah. Well, I, oh, you guys are very generous, thank you. Yes, I suppose I could. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I, I, yeah I, I always feel weird. I need to get over that. I need to get over that. Sub goals are fun and... Uh, consensual, like, I don't... I just felt bad, like, being like, oh, give me some money. Like, I don't know, I just felt weird about it, but it's fine. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry. Clive recalled several words in the elder Seer's presence, words which brought him, brought him pain. Wow, listen to that. Oh, wow, the significance of... Oh, I read that as beaver again. Why, why, is, why am I... Bearer eludes me. You and I are more familiar with Efrit. Considering your reaction to the mere mention of the name, it is likely that the primal, or its equivalent in your world, is deeply connected to your condition. Thus have I resolved to weave my lyrical magics and bring you face to face with the Lef Lefrit of our world. Ifrit, sorry. Wait, I'm wonder wondering minstrel, who? Okay, this is a special character for this event then. Like, are they out of this world too? They must be. I don't think we've ever seen this character before. And they're way too powerful, like, to summon the fruit? Uh, Ifrit? Like, what? And they know everything. Here, where Archon Louisois paved an ethereal path to the primal's lair, will my words be given substance. And within the vision which takes form, will you do battle with a phantom of our mind's creation? Imaginary though this confrontation may be, I fear your suffering will be all too real. Yet you must preserve for your hidden truth will not be unearthed without hardship. Take heart, Scarlet Star, and call upon the strength of your shining twin. Your past, 
awaits. Oh, wow, let's go! <gasps> oh, no, do I want to do this as a dancer? I don't... No, wait, this is a really bad idea. I don't know the first thing of playing dancer. I literally just press random buttons every time. I don't know what I'm doing. Can I kill a primal? Wait. Oh no, this is bad. Where has he sent us? You stand in the bowl of embers, the site where the Amalgia summoned their patron deity, at the stage upon which the warrior of light became a slayer of gods. Tis but convincing illusion, the body of recounted tale given breath by fanciful verse. Come forth, Lord of the Inferno. Wow, this is a spectacle, isn't it? Ooh! The music as well. And an accurate facive. Fasimal. Yeah, it's not quite the Ifrit you know. No. Not quite the same. Okay, so Ifrit does not look the same in 16 then. I wonder what it looks like in 16. Wait, what's happening? Is it evolving? What? grew hair it grew hair it grew gee it's massive how did it grow hair is this what it looks like in 16 that's freaking terrifying Ugh. wait are you okay It's time to uncover the truth. All right, time to find out who I am. He's so cool. Oh my goodness! Ifrit. Oh, he's drawing his weapon! That's the thing which killed Joshua? What? That's the thing that which killed Joshua? Yes, I've been on its trail, seeking vengeance for my brother. Is that a spoiler? I like that's a spoiler. Is that a spoiler? This fiend must pay. Fight with me. Okay, we're just gonna throw that away then. That feels like a spoiler. Who did the fruit kill? Don't know. During this battle, you will gain access to special duty actions as follows. Oh, please. Wait, what's this? Use rising flames to charge the foe and inflict high damage. Wait, I don't need to worry about being a dancer then. With the proper timing, you can use dodge to avoid taking damage. Even if you are within the area of an, an enemy's attack. Okay, so like it makes you a bit invulnerable then for that second. Oh God, what's this? Certain enemy attacks will be preceded by a countdown icon. When this countdown progresses to the dodge icon, quickly use the dodge action. What is this? Very easy mode. After executing a successful dodge, the dodge action will change to precision strike, which proves an opportunity to inflict additional damage. Why is this toddlerified? Like it knew that I was a toddler or something. Wow, listen to that. <gasps> Oh 
Oh my word. Okay, I'm gonna click these. Dodge, rising flames. So I'm gonna just press this. Invalid target. What do you mean invalid? Oh. Ah! Wait, do I do normal with me? Wait, so I wanna press dodge, like right, two, one, dodge. And then we press this one again. I'm only clicking, I'm only clicking. Wait, I'm not clicking. I'm gonna press G, because that one's keybound, and that's like way easier. Oh my gosh, wait, this is so fun. Wait, this is so fun, I love it. So do I wanna dodge this? Wait, wait, oh my gosh, I pressed the wrong button, I pressed F. Wait, it even gave me a countdown and I still failed. Look, G is just too far away, okay? G is far away on the keyboard. I can't reach it. Why did I keybind it, G? Ta -da! Wow, look at this version of for free. It's freaking so cool. It's got silver hair though. If it has silver hair, that's usually a red flag. G, G, G. G. Oh, fireball. <laughs> wow. Hiya! Clive! Clive! Bleed. Oh my gosh, he's got some cool voice. Cool voice lines, doesn't he? Oh, I can dodge it. Did I successfully do that? Right, I kind of want to dodge that too, but I don't know if I'd get the timings down. Right, I can get the timings down. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it right now. Did I do it? Oh my God, it's with the server delay. It's a little bit difficult. I need, I need the very easy option. I need the dice to tell me when to dodge. Wait, I'm gonna stand in this too. Wait, press it now, now, now. Did that work? Yeah! Oh wait, this is so fun, I love it. No, I'm standing in it. I'm standing in it all now. I'm gonna wait now. I love it. Pyro salt. So this. Infernal shroud. Do I press something now? Did I dodge it? His flames grow hotter. Watch yourself. I'm gonna dodge. What's he up to? I'm gonna, oh God. Right, I'm gonna dodge this one. And then dodge this one. Did I dodge it and then dodge Oh no, I got hit by the ball! I think, no wait, I only got hit by one, it's fine. That was nearly gaming. It was nearly gaming. I just couldn't remember which one was going off when. Shit! He swore? Clive? Wait, how do I free him? Wait, how do I free? Buy me some time. Okay, I'm gonna click rising flames. Defend Clive while he frees himself. Wait, defend him from what though? Oh, defend Clive. <gasps> oh my, oh my gosh. Yes, Saska is having a, this won't hold me. He is so cool. He is so cool. That was so epic. <gasps> my thing. Ah! Wait, I want to dodge this too. Yeah, I was trying to dodge every attack, but I, I couldn't remember which dash was going off when, so I failed. Oh, that was definitely not a dodge, but I'll take that. I was in a GCD. Unbelievable. The music! Oh, man. Yes! Woo! Oh. Wait, 
I need to remember, hold on. Wait, my actual, I need to press this button, I think. Spreading fire. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, I like, I dodged the first one and then I dodged the second one by dashing. That was so cool. Wait, this is so satisfying. Do you do this in Final Fantasy 16? Like, is this gameplay in 16? Because I really love the whole like dodging and like, this is really cool. I love it. This is really like engaging gameplay in my opinion. I really like this. Like dodging the boss's attacks like that. And then, wait, is it like Souls? Soulsborne? Is that Soulsborne gameplay where you like fight a boss and then you have to like dodge the attacks? That's the Soulsborne game, right? Because I've never played one, so. Like, is it is that basically like Soulsborn gameplay? Uh, more DMC, Devil May Cry. Oh god, I've never played Devil. I, I've never played Devil May Cry. Wait, Pyrosol. Dodging. Not this time. Go on, Clive. Uh, Devil May. Oh, okay, it's Devil May Cry. Okay. Your explanation is Soulsborn, but Final Fantasy 16 is not. Oh, okay. Oh, whoops! I got hit. Oh no. Oh no! Wait! I'm getting stomped on! Ooh! This is so cool! Wait, I wanna take a screenshot! I'm taking a screenshot! Okay. Oh, he's saving me! Wow, what was that? I think I got the screenshot. I think I got the screenshot. Still in the fight? Oh yeah, no, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm doing loads of damage actually. Wait, what's happening now? Why are these blades? If they're feeding him, but not if we break them. Oh god, do I have to do damage now? Wait, I can do damage. I need to dodge that, and then does that, did that work? Did I dodge it? God, I'm spell queuing loads of things now. Wait, I'm doing no damage. I there's too damn many. We cannot rely on steel alone. I I'm doing no damage. I don't know how to play Dancer Clive. Is that enough? Wow, that was so cool. We need we leave none standing, Clive. You're doing all the work here, but I also don't know how to play Dancer. So I don't really know what I'm doing. Wait, I can press this. <gasps> Oh, sorry, I was distracted. I was trying to click my abilities. This one. Oh, we did it. Oh God, there's another one. Clive, that was supposed to be yours. On your guard. He means to unleash hell. Let's finish still with me. Don't taunt me. God, I hate that. Are you mocking me, Clive? Of course I'm still here. I'm actually carrying right now. Fiery Rampage. Dodging. Wait, did I dodge? I don't think I did. I did it! Yes! Oh my gosh! Wait, I'm not being told when to... Oh, I am. Wait, again, do another ability. Cause that's... I didn't have like a, a boss ability. Oh. Okay, we want one without the boss ability though, because that was fun predicting it. All right, did I dodge that? Oh, I did. Yes! Oops, oh no, I definitely dodged that one too early. Yes! This is so good, and then the music. Oh my gosh, what a spectacle. This is like a proper cinematic, like blockbuster experience, so good. Oh, I didn't dodge. I'm gonna dodge this though. Yes! Wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, I did it. I spammed the button. Wow. What an epic moment. This is such an experience. Fiery Rampage, dodge this. Wait, did I do it? Yes! This is so fun, I love it. Ah! 
We did it! I blamed another to spare my guilt. I feared that by accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. But I accept the truth of it now. You are not Ifrit. I am? What? I'm sorry, what? What? He can turn into... If... What? Holy moly, this is so cool! He can turn into Ifrit? Fight fire with fire. That was so cool! Same, Saskat, same. Wait, is he okay? I, I think I'm gonna buy a PS5 after the stream today. In the battle against your own mind, it would seem you have emerged intriguing. Wait, it would seem you've emerged the victor. Intriguing. What's happened now? Have I hit my UI by accident? How do I know? Oh. The illusion is unraveled, yet you've brought a friend back with you. Ah! You're so fluffy! Wait, I'm getting outranked on the fluff scale again. This is Torgal. I'm out. I, you know what? It's fine. I can be out fluffed by Torgal. That's fine. A wolf pup raised in the du duchy. There is no more loyal ally in battle and no keener guide when the road ahead is uncertain. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. I want to, I want to pet him. I want to pet him. That is the cutest thing. Oh, I'm getting cute aggression. I need to squeeze something. Ah, oh, that would explain the ab aberration in the lingering ether. Torgal is here to lead you back to your own world. Oh, you're going already? Clive has embraced his harrowing past and in doing so reclaimed the memories he lost. Though not a conscious act, he has manifested his readiness to return home in the form of a trusted companion. He's got such a serious face. Even so, it was difficult to accept what I'd done. What did you do? My younger brother, Joshua, was a kind and gifted soul. The inheritor of the Phoenix Flames. He was destined to become an Archduke, as our father had before him. But Joshua was murdered. His bright future cut short. You are suffering. From that day onwards, I lived for one purpose alone. Okay, they both look cute here. From that day onwards, I lived for one purpose alone. 
A dominant of fire had slain my brother, and I would have my revenge. I spent years tracking the killer, until one day, I came to understand it had been me all along. I don't think he means this literally. Oh, I was young and distraught when I first summoned Ifrit. Oh, you, wait, you, you, you? Is this bad? I, I feel like they're telling us, like... They, I don't know. I don't have any context for 16, but I feel like this is important information. I don't know. But, like, this is... This feels, like, important. I don't know if this should be here. I was young and distraught when I first summoned Ifrit. I hadn't known such power lurked within me. Or that it could even exist at all. The transformation was instinctive, uncontrolled. Transformation? So, wait, he literally turned into Ifrit? Like, um, Yazale with Shiva? Uncontrolled. And it was by my hand that Joshua died. I can but imagine the anguish this caused you. There was anguish, yes, and a guilt I will never escape, but I cannot let it stop me. I was born the vessel for Ifrit's power, and I need to know why. It was in search of answers that I went to Phoenix Gate and delved into the ruins below. There I found the courage to face my past and accept the truth, and then everything faded to black. Okay, wait, I just had a thought. I think, obviously, the crossover events are to, like, encourage you to play whatever it's crossed over with, right? Uh, or it's just a cool thing. But I think this is trying to encourage people to play 16. So I kind of feel like... Maybe this is all stuff that you're supposed to know early on. But, like, it's building... It's, it's like a trailer, in a way. Like, it's giving you this information. But... You're kind of supposed to know this information or it's not like it's obviously not spoilers for like way later down. So like maybe this is in the beginning of the game because like in Final Fantasy 4, you start literally with genocide. Like Final Fantasy 4 starts dark. Final Fantasy 7 starts quite dark as well. So like maybe the beginning of 16, it, like this happens very early on. And like they're giving you a taste and in a way it's like a trailer where it's setting up like a a really tragic backstory for a main protagonist so that you're interested and you're invested and you then want to play 16. That's what I'm thinking. Because there's no way that, they, that they'd throw in like Joshua dying and then him being the vessel for Ifrit if that was like proper spoilers later on in the game. Because they wouldn't do that, obviously. So I feel like it's trying to encourage you to play because it's encouraging you. Like it's setting up... Um emotional investments that you want to play 16 that's what i think but what they don't know is all you have to do is look at clive to want to play 16 so that's someone else said that it wasn't me i wasn't thinking that i was just saying what someone else said it was in search of answers that i went to phoenix gate and delved into the ruins below there i found the courage to face my past and accept the truth and then everything faded to black hmm your tale suggests that something in the ruins some mysterious force was responsible for your inadvertent journey. And if you arrived in Eorzea from a place sacred to the phoenix and its flames, then it stands to reason. Yes, what are you thinking? I'm thinking that to see your home, to see you home, then we must return to the beginning. Our road takes us back to the burning wall, which isn't a wall or burning, by the way, so it's a scam. Once there, your furry comrade will lead us exactly where we needed to need to go. Oh, you're so fluffy and cute. I don't mind being out fluffed by you, Togol.
Oh, the piano time. Oh, lovely. Wait. Oh, we have to go back to the burning wall. All right, do we think Camp Drybone is going to be wet or dry? Is the name a lie? True or false? I think false. I think it's going to be wet. <gasps> oh my god, it's true! It's true! Discord. Ah, what is this? Oh my god, Chris has fixed it. He's made us some gold here. Hold on. <laughs> ah, delicious. Finally, some good food. <laughs> oh no, the beaver. <laughs> oh, well played, Chris. That is so good. I can't... Wait, what is it? It doesn't say beaver. Bearer. Oh no. <laughs> I can't believe we had a beaver incident. <sighs> Such an incredible sight. I was in no state to appreciate these crystals the first time. Oh, crystal liquors are canon confirmed. Why is everyone obsessed with crystals? We've come this far. Now Torgal will be our guide. Such was the purpose of his creation after all. What are you lot? Bald? What? Who? Ready, tall girl? Take me home. Arf! <laughs> well, it's said to bark. Once you choose to depart, Clive and the Wandering Minstrel will accompany you. Tall girl will then begin leading you onwards. Follow tall girl to his destination and try not to fall behind. I actually bark at Abso all the time. I think our neighbours think we have a dog, but it's just me. If you leave Clive or the Minstrel for any reason, or lose sight of Torgol, you may try again by returning to the start point. Oh, wait, we need to follow Torgol. Where, wait, where did he go? He just teleported. Oh my God, how fast is he? Wait, what? Wait, wait, you're so quick. Wait, hold on. Oh, he freaking ran away. It was a peepo run. All right, okay, we caught up, we caught up, it's fine. Jeez, that was so fast. He legged it. Oh my goodness, it's a crystal fruit? The forbidden fruit. Even Clive is interested. Wait, follow, follow, follow. Wait, go, run. Wait, oh my god, I actually have a movement speed increase. Peloton. Run, 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 run. I've got the wandering minstrel and Clive following me. Wait, do you think he like, oh my god, they both walk. Okay, Torgal, where are we going? Oh, wow, look at these crystals. Wow. Wait, I don't wanna, I don't wanna let go yet. I wanna, I think, oh, wow, this is a per, this is a picture platform if I ever saw it. Right. Wait, turn around. Yes! Wait, I love how the wandering minstrel is just standing there, look. <laughs> ah! Okay, sorry. Music. Is this it, boy? Tale ends where it began. Oh, I want these memories forever. I keep taking screenshots because I wouldn't like, I don't think you can replay any of this and I want to keep it forever. Music. The tale ends where it began. Where you first found me. Indeed. 
was baffled as to why this, of all places... Did that come through the mic? That was so loud. <laughs> Did that actually come through? <laughs> yes. Oh, you lot are so cute. You're so cute. You're so adorable. Yes. Well, I don't need to pick up. You lot picked up. Hello? <laughs> You're so cute. I can't. I was baffled as to why this, of all places would serve as a junction between our two worlds. But now I think I understand. You do? All right, we'll answer it then. You do? Some years ago, Eorzea was visited by a cataclysmic disaster known as the seventh umbral calamity oh my god i did it i did it i did it or oh, the suck sorry yet even as fire and ruin threatened all we held dear the world underwent a mystical renewal it was as if the star was reborn one theory attributes the miracle to a benevolent entity claiming that the undying phoenix flared into being to save us in our honour of direst need. The phoenix? The burning wall itself is a scar left by those events. Its crystal ridges having erupted from the earth overnight. Oh, I remember doing this in coils. Some believe these monoliths of solid solidified flame to be proof of the Phoenix's deliverance. The bond with your brother, the Phoenix of your world, may have been the connection which brought you to this sacred place in ours. Drawn to the flame. It seems our time together is at an end. No! I mean, okay. No! No! Thank you both for all you have done. Oh, I don't want to say bye. No. Press on, friend. No matter how daunting the hardship or bitter the truth. Wow, look at Saskat. Wow, Saskat's gotten wise. May your journeys be fair. We can't say that. Uh, may your journeys be fair. Press on, friend. No matter how daunting the hardship or bitter the truth. That's very deep. Always. No matter what fate awaits at journey's end. Journey's end? Ooh, wait a second. Oh, just a man and his dog. Come, Torgal. We have answers to seek. And Valisthea awaits. He's so cool. I don't want to say bye. I don't want to say bye. He's gone. They're gone. I wonder if he'll remember me when we play 16. Do you think he'll remember me? And then he was gone. I feel the stirrings of a ballad. Oh, don't sing. But nay, twould be hubris to imagine I could capture Clive's story from so fleeting an excerpt. looking at me like that. That honour belongs to someone else. Someone privileged to see his tale to its conclusion. Oh, they really want you to get 16, don't they? Like, they've sucked you in. They've given you, like, they've set you up with the backstory, the emotional turmoil. They've made it for it look really cool. They've given you new, like, 
combat and cool mechanics. Someone privileged to see his tale to its conclusion. I can do that. I'll do that, wandering minstrel. I, I, I can do that. Sadly, the power to peer into other worlds was not granted me by this day's miracles. I'll do it. I wonder, however, if you might manage it. I won't let you down. I'll do it. I'll buy everything. I'll buy a PS5 and then I'll buy a P the 16. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I can do that. No, 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 no. Screw the list, okay? I don't care. We're playing 16 now. Wait, we really said bye. I am actually so glad that I took loads of photos because like, I feel like that whole quest line was really cool and like, you can't replay it, right? So who knows when that, like, is it gonna come back again? Because wasn't the Final Fantasy 15 event, like that didn't come back for like years, right? So I feel like I made the most out of my time. I'm really glad. Our little adventure is over. Set in motion as it was by a dream most cryptic. I must thank you for indulging my sudden strange request. But who are you, wandering minstrel? As for your promised reward, I hope this is sufficient. Torgal proved such a trustworthy guide that I thought to bind his likeness to a summoning whistle. You can do that. Like I'm talking to a dev. May his loyal spirit serve you well on your travels. Until we meet again. Wait, who are you? Maybe you're supposed to be all the devs. You're supposed to represent the devs. <gasps> oh my gosh! I got stuck! Yes! You can now exchange MGP for special items by speaking with the gold saucer attendant and the gold saucer. Oh my god, I'm gonna buy all of the rewards. But first, look how cute this is! 